everybody welcome back to vlogmas i cannot even tell you how bright and sunny it is here today in london it is making me so happy i am currently waiting for the refrigerator service man you know that well december i told you about the start of the month i mean were you even prepared for something as crazy as a fridge service like honestly not what i expected either however that is what i'm waiting for this morning and then the plan is to head into town so i want to make sure that i'm like ready to go so just done my skincare and I actually went to this skincare event like maybe a couple months ago and they told me that you're supposed to let your like your SPF sit for like 15 minutes before you start putting things on top of it so now I'm really scared and every time I put SPF on I just kind of stand here and I'm like what do I do now so I thought we were getting dressed maybe I feel like that makes sense um I don't really know what to wear today. It feels like a tights day, so I'm going to start with a little pair of tights. So, it's like bright and sunny today, but it's not freezing. It's like 10 degrees, but bright. So, I wanted to wear a skirt. So, I've got this cute little, I need to lint roll it, skirt on from Hollister, but it's actually a score. I got it super recently, and it's just the best thing because I don't have to worry because there's shorts under there. And then I am going to go for some knitwear. So, I'm thinking this, where is it? The Amber the Stories one. It's like a taupey brown. I mean, I could do all black, but I kind of love this. We actually haven't done all black yet this season. Like, black and some boots, maybe. I just don't love my black coat. I kept saying I was going to pass it on, and I haven't found one that I like as much yet, so I haven't passed it on. Um, I really wanted to try the Cos one on, but of course it's sold out everywhere. Okay, this cable knit jumper is Ralph Lauren, and I love it. I mean, it makes me look like I'm not wearing anything underneath, but... I'll tuck it. Ooh, what should we spray? I'm gonna do Misty all today. Just, I, I actually very rarely wear this, but I love it. And I also have a mini that I can put in my handbag and that is half the battle, isn't it? That's, you know what, that is a big thing for me when choosing fragrance. I need to know that I can take the bottle with me and that it's not too heavy or that I have a mini or one that's already been decant decanted into an atomizer. Hair is poofy, but I'm going to put a beanie on, so I don't really want to put any heat on it unnecessarily. I need, actually, I need to put some oil on it. I did a hair mask last night and my hair up here looks great. I just need some love down the bottom. That's the only thing with using a hair mask to seek my hair. I feel like it all gets concentrated in the top and the point is to put it where the damage is, which is further down. It's like super counterproductive. Fridge engineer was supposed to be here 25 minutes ago and still no sign. I'm literally going to do the speediest makeup that I am physically capable of. Actually, I'm going to use my this today, my L'Oreal serum. I really like it. I mean, should I be doing this? with a turtleneck on, probably not. But I would say the compromise of having SPF that is, you know, settled and working is, is worth it. I just have to be a bit more careful. I'm going to do Bobbi Brown Vitamin Face Base. There are so many things that I'm nearly out of at the moment. I'm watching my doorbell like a hawk, nothing. Because last time they said that nobody answered the door and I'd stayed in all day and I couldn't see anyone on the cameras. So this time I'm watching it. And if they say that again, I'm gonna be really frustrated because yet again, I've waited in. Well, yesterday I did. I have just had the best phone call ever. The Sub-Zero engineer is like five minutes away, which is amazing. We'll get that smashed out. I just tried on a new pair of boots that I got in that I thought I was going to love. I waited for months for them to come into stock and I don't like them. So sadly, I'm going to have to send those back, but I'm just trying to figure out what coat to wear, to be honest. I actually do not know. You know what? We'll do the H&M code because I keep not reaching for it and I keep telling myself I don't like it. So this is going to be its last outing. And then if I wear it today and think I don't like that, then we pass it on and I have to commit to buying a new one. And what am I going to do hair wise? I kind of want to wear a hat, but obviously my hair is freshly washed. So I might actually just look how puffy it is. I might just put a clip in it instead. I adore having freshly washed hair. Like it genuinely brings me so much joy. I need to eat, but obviously, I'm going to have that engineer so I can't really film it. So I either need to go and eat really quick or just wait until he's done. Oh gosh. Wonderful. Always put a hair bubble under your claw clip and that's actually what keeps my hair in. I have very thick, heavy hair. And if I just put a claw clip in, it just all falls out or <laughs> looks gross. 
Can you see how dark it is in here? I've come back upstairs because I made my bed this morning and you know when you just don't do it good enough and I just, it's bothering me. It's in the back of my mind that it just looks all creased. What I really need to do is take the quilt off, shake out the duvet, but I don't think I have it in me. I've just got a notification that my Amazon order is out for delivery. So I saw this thing on TikTok and I was just like, wow, I have to try. So I've ordered some like polystyrene shaped trees, I guess, and some like cocktail sticks and I'm going to try and make a charcuterie Christmas tree. How great does that sound? I feel like if this goes well, this will be my gift that I present to people at, you know, like the family Christmas parties that I have this year. And I have a couple of things between Christmas and New Year actually that it would be really cool if I could recreate that and take it. Although knowing me, <laughs> it might not go too well. This is something that you can't do chaotically. It has to look pretty and precise and finished and that's not very also the engineers downstairs and I think we may have solved the problem. Basically my freezer's not been working for the past, I don't even know, like it worked for like a week after I moved in and then stopped working and I was like great, wonderful, hence the Zero Ninja Creamy videos. So I'm just waiting for him to finish up. He said he thinks it's fine, like he thinks he's fixed it and it was a very simple fix and very normal for this to happen. So you guys, he's gone and the freezer is fixed. I'm so happy, I have a freezer. Wow, it's cold, it's at minus eight right now and he said that my fridge should start working even better, even though I haven't really noticed anything wrong with that, but it means I can now make myself some breakfast and I am ravenous, let me eat. That is such a huge tick off my list. I mean, they have to come back and do something else because basically it was the condenser and the motor he has on the van, but doesn't have a fan and they have to replace the whole thing. So he has to go order the fan and then make sure there's a motor and all that jazz and come back and it's, it's fine. And it's going to work in the meantime, which is great, but I'm just happy to know that there is a solution, you know, <laughs> and it's not like, sorry, just doesn't work, you know? So I'm going to do eggs and salmon. And I've got a few sausages left, so we'll do those. And mm, we'll do some of this, but I'm gonna do it on some toast. Because I actually have some bread in today, which I'm really excited about. It's so hard to get through a whole loaf as someone that lives alone. Normally I freeze it and obviously haven't had the freezer, but now I can. <coughs> So the rubbish collection's tomorrow, which means one of today's jobs is to make sure everything is outside and ready because they they need it outside. Oh, I've never tried this butter before. I don't know what I'm gonna think to this. You know, when you know what you like in a butter. Yeah, I have to put it all out the night before because they can collect any time from 6 a.m. I'm having a rye bread. I've never tried this. It's Marks and Spencer's Bakery. I think it's going to be quite a soft bread. I'm gonna do this. Yum. Well, I obviously didn't make it into town in time. Luckily, I've been able to take one of my meetings on Zoom and then the other appointment I had to go to, someone was able to go on my behalf, thank goodness. So I'm actually now going to go and take Cody and meet one of my friends in Richmond and we're gonna go for a walk around Richmond Park. I haven't been to Richmond since I went with Adam like four years ago. So I'm excited and I feel like it's a very festive place to go. But I'm like, do I wear wellies or do I wear Docks. I'm gonna be walking around the park, but at the same time, I feel like I look a bit of a numpty in wellies, and no one else is gonna be in them. I think it's a dog's day. Um, yeah. I cannot believe I've just had to wash my hair twice in one day. That is the ultimate sin. And you guys, when I tell you, I got soaked. So I got there and it was drizzling, raining. I was like, cool, I wanna grab a coffee before we go and like, you know, walk around the park. And I knew they had a Kiss the Hippo in Richmond. So I was like, you know what? Love their coffee, gonna go and get a coffee from there. And on the way back to the car, oh my goodness, it just started pouring it down. But I was like, no, it'll be fine. Like good intentions. Went and started walking around the park and got absolutely drenched. So I'm just feeling a bit sorry for myself, especially now because it's actually stopped raining. <laughs> Which is wonderful, wonderful. I, yeah, what can you do? But I mean, at least we got out and we got a little bit of a walk in before the rain started, but nowhere near what I wanted to do. But yeah, I'm gonna go and blow dry my hair again now, I guess. But you know what I really want to do for lunch? I thought we would order some of like the Christmas specials from Pret or somewhere like that and give them a little taste test. I don't think I've actually tried any of the Christmas specials yet this season, which is so strange. Normally, I guess I've not really been out for lunch anywhere where I need to like grab and go, I guess. I see the Gales croissant apparently is amazing. And I actually really do like Christmas specials. Like autumn, fall, Halloween-y autumn things are not that fussed because I'm not really like a pumpkin girly or anything like that. But if there's like brie and crab 
cranberry or anything like that, heck yeah, I'm so down. So let me go and fix my hair. <laughs> and again, and uh, then I would love some lunch. Also, I completely remade the bed. I couldn't leave it. Do you think it looks better like this or do you think it looked better before? I mean, it's definitely neater now, but I've changed slightly how I've done the quilt, but let me know. So before I start blow drying my hair, I thought we would order. I'm gonna type in Christmas into Deliveroo and see what comes up. Um, oh, a lot of places have Christmas specials. Pret does come up pretty high. Should we just do Pret? I feel like that actually, well, Gales, that's quite exciting as well. What else do we have? The Pizza Pilgrim special, Franca Manka special. Let's do Pret. I feel like I've set my heart on that now because they did have a little look at it the other day. Pret just reminds me of the airport. Okay, Pret Christmas lunch. That's a turkey, port orange and cranberry sandwich. Christmas lunch baguette, turkey. Ooh, brie pistachio and cranberry baguette. Yum. <gasps> Boxing Day Toasty. Mature cheddar. British pulled turkey. Uh, ham. Okay, yeah, we're doing that. And then coffee caramel slice. Okay, well, that can be my pudding. And then do they have a Christmas drink? No. Disappointing. Okay, well, I'll get the Christmas lunch sandwich as well. And I can have half and half. And then I can put the rest in the fridge. You know what? I'm going to get a couple. And I'm going to then just pop the bits in the fridge that I don't eat. And I can just eat those later or tomorrow. Christmas tiffin. I'm not gonna get a mince pie. I don't like mince pies. I'm so shocked that they don't have a special drink. It's on the way. Shall I blow dry my hair into a side pot just for a change? Oh my gosh. I feel like I look like teenage me. Absolutely not. Okay, that will do. I'm just going to let the ends dry by themselves. I think I might just put something comfy cozy on loungewear vibes because I am not putting makeup on again today. And I don't think I'm going to leave the house again today besides taking Cody for an actual walk because look what happened last time. I mean, it's my own fault for not taking an umbrella, but I feel like an umbrella on a dog walk is just a recipe for disaster, especially like a small one because you're gonna get blown a gale. Uh, okay, let's get some joggers. This is what we're going for. If you struggle, to find joggers long enough then you need to check these out so these are brandy and I believe you can get these or similar ones online I think it's on cotton on but they sell under a different name but it is brandy I will try and find them and link them but yeah I love these and obviously I'm a five foot ten girly and I can wear them like literally up here and they still hit the well not hit the floor exactly but they're you know touching my feet and then if I wear them actually on my hips and not on my waist they literally drag on the floor which is unheard of oh is that my I've just got the notification that my driver is going to pick up my food. <laughs> I think one of my 2024 life changes is going to be deleting food delivery apps. I don't actually deliver like Uber Eats particularly often. It will be like once a week maximum and it's just like a nice treat but I feel like that's one change I would like to make in my life. It's not like a big one because what's like changing something that happens once a week isn't that big but I think it'd be good you know. I, I think it's also nice to go to the restaurant you want to go to and either eat in or go and pick it up and support them because obviously they have to be fees don't they and also you know it's nice to go and like experience it my skin is crying out for a bit of tlc so i'm going to put my eye cream on again not that i'm bitter also where did that come from let's put some eye patches on these are from pixie and you know what i love these because they come in a pot like this oh great i've just spilt it everywhere so there's no like packets every time you use them don't get me wrong love a sheet mask and i love eye masks to travel with and in that capacity it's very handy i am really not doing very well with this in that capacity it's very handy that they come individually but i feel like for at home there's just no need i actually used to keep these i had like another pot before in the fridge and i mean I do that i definitely am not gonna get like a beauty fridge or anything like that you remember when that was a thing and everyone had like mini fridges in their bathrooms i i respect it i just can't ever see myself doing it i think the constant whirring because they do make a noise would send me a little bit crazy <laughs> This feels so good. I don't think I even put any moisturizer on. You know, I would love to know. I would love to know what tanning product you guys use on your face. I have been using this Saint Tropez Purity Drops. Saint Tropez, oh, Lux Tan Tonic Drops. I was using Purity Mist. I mean, I still switch between both, but let me know what do you use and should I try it? Because I like 
these and I like the purity mist but I'm not like crazy about it like I was that L'Oreal one that they discontinued I just wish they hadn't discontinued that because it was so good but yeah what do you use I know tan Lux are quite popular and what's the other one there's another one but my favorite tan literally of all time that I wish they did it actually maybe they do do facial tan now maybe I just haven't looked but it's loving tan and they just have this like red undertone to the tan that just looks so good it never goes green it never goes orange you just look so tanned i might actually order some I haven't fake tanned in quite a while and i am so pale right now it's honestly making me a little bit sad but not sad enough to uh, go and buy some fake tan yet maybe for new year's i am thinking i definitely should probably do that for new year's otherwise i'm going to be a ghost i've just googled it and they do have face tan they have two different shades they've got their dark and their medium but i don't know what type of product it is oh there's a video but i think she's just posing with the tan <laughs> Can I see the product? No, okay, fine, fine. Oh my goodness. Go on the Loving Tan website and go and have a look at their face tan and watch the video. It's a model pose. Obviously she's got the product on, but it really doesn't tell you anything about a product. It's just this gorgeous girl posing, holding the tan. I mean, she's stunning and she looks insane, but I would just love to see like the texture. They also, it says they also have a serum. Okay, I mean, I don't know which one I prefer. Is there a video for this one? Ah, we can see the product consistency of this one. Ah, this looks quite like the L'Oreal one I used to use. So this is their purest collection. I might order this. I think they might have it on Cult Beauty. Oh, also everything is sorted and downstairs ready for the rubbish collection tomorrow. My friend very kindly came back from Richmond with me to carry the things downstairs that I couldn't manage. And they're now outside ready to be collected. And oh my goodness, my house feels so much emptier. It's so nice. I got everything out and then I did, did like a quick 15 minute tidy. And when I tell you, it's brought me so much joy. I feel like my brain is less cluttered because my space is less cluttered. And it wasn't even like there was lots of clutter. There was just things that I didn't have a home for and they were kind of sat there in the middle of a room. And I'm like, what, what, what do I even do with these? How do I deal with this? So that feels like a massive like thing ticked off. My delivery is taking so long. I've ordered 45 minutes ago and it said it was going to be 15 minutes. It says the ride is waiting at the, at the restaurant, but... They don't have to cook the food, so I don't understand. It's arrived. Let's unbox. It smells so good. So we have the Pret, obviously. Uh, it's a seasoned greetings. We then have the Brie Pistachio and Cranberry Baguette. This must be the Boxing Day Toasty. We then have, oh, I didn't realize it was one of the bars like this, the prep tiffin. If you've never tried the prep brownies, you need to try the prep brownies. And then we have in here the Rocky Road. Oh, the Caramel Square. They didn't cut the toasty in half, that's a shame. I feel like maybe they don't do that then. I thought they would. Okay, let's, I feel like we should try the hot one first. I think this is going to be my favorite. So I've just ripped it in half because I feel like the good bit's in the middle. So we have ham, it looks like stuffing turkey, it looks like onion, like gravy. Oh gosh, I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this gracefully. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is my lunch. I'm just gonna cut a bit off the other ones. This is what I'm having. It's so good. You know, when you're so hungry and you wait for so long for food, then you start eating and you remember how hungry you were. Let me break a bit off this brie and pistachio and cranberry. Wow. I feel like this is the kind of thing that I would want to put in the toasty machine. Sorry, I'm literally hiding it from you. This is what it looks like. It's the same baguette as their Caesar roll, which is so good. It's so funny because I love everything in here, but it tastes so plain compared to the toasty. I think the toasty is just like top tier. It's really good though, and I will buy it again. Mm, this is really yummy. I'm gonna save this for lunch tomorrow. Let's wrap it up. Next up, this is like the classic sandwich. I feel like this is the one that they have been like heavily promoting. And again, it looks like it's pretty much got exactly the same as the toasty, except there's no ham. And there's some greenery in here, which we love. Again, have to rip some off or I'm just going to ruin it. Oh my gosh, it's going everywhere. Okay, I feel like I've got a bit of everything in here. Hmm. If you're not in the mood for the toasty, get this one because it's very festive, but I like the toasty. Let's try this next. This is the coffee caramel slice. I don't know how coffee or caramel, oh my gosh, it's squished. I don't know how coffee or caramel are festive. Brownie. I don't know what I think to this. Oh, it's warm. Oh, I don't like that. I don't know what to think. It's super crumbly. Imagine like chocolate mud cake with caramel on and then this like white chocolate, but it's like white chocolate mixed with icing sugar so it's not solid. And imagine it all over my island as well, because that's where it is. Okay, I'm gonna save that one for someone else. 
And finally, we have the tipping bar. But I'm looking at this, and it's got a Christmas tree on and everything, but I thought they always did a tipping bar. Or do they not? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. So what makes this special? Is it like spice tipping or something? Chocolate fruit and biscuits. The only, it says the only festive tiff worth having. Oh, is that cranberry? Mm-mm. No. No, no, no. It just tastes fruity. That's so disappointing. Well, I guess my verdict is the savory things are insane but for me the sweet things have just missed the mark so i'm again gonna put these in the fridge and save the sweet things for someone else because i won't eat those look at the space that i've got here now i've just put this here i think it's empty to be honest yes and then i just got my makeup bag on top and then just like my doorstop which you know what i think this is so cute but it's very autumn i would love to get like a wintry or a christmas one and just switch it out but yeah for now this is what's here i don't actually know what i'm going to put in this space i feel like a mirror would really suit here but obviously i don't want to block off access to the stairs or anything but yeah this is actually going to go in the gym eventually but right now i just want to keep my gym empty because i have my treadmill coming this week so for now it stays here my brain is a little bit frazzled you know those things you have have to do but you really don't want to do them but you know if you put them off they're just going to get worse and worse and worse it was one of those so it's good and it's ticked a big thing off my to-do list but it's just a bit heavy and now i've got to go and do the follow-up but what i think i might do is get that smashed out and then take my little boy for a walk that would be really nice i'm just craving getting outside a little bit i feel a bit cooped up after earlier because i feel like when it rains and you go outside you don't actually feel like you've gotten outside into the fresh air you still feel like you're huddled up and you're like trying to hide from the rain so yeah i'm gonna go and take coats on a long walk and then this evening i there's me saying i'm not leaving the house again i think i'm gonna go out for dinner and then i mean not a late one because i have things to do tomorrow but i think i might i'm like 80 percent sure i'm going to but i don't think i'm gonna put makeup on just letting you know, just setting a boundary. I feel like I've got a big fat case of the winter uglies. I feel like I need to fake tan, put a nice outfit on, do my hair, do my makeup, and just feel pretty because this weather is just making me want to cover up and like huddle up in warm clothes. And then I just feel a bit rubbish because I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, that's not what you look like. You look like you've been blown around by the wind for the past three hours. And I do want to feel pretty, but what do you think to this top? I thought I would do some trying on of bits and bobs. I adore this. This. this is dish dish smash it every single time i wish it was more accessible in the uk because occasionally you have to pay customs on like the imports not always but it's always a risk when you do order apparently if you order in smaller batches that like, is if you put like three different orders through instead of ordering three things in one order you're less likely to have to pay customs but i don't know how legit that is but i love this and my gorgeous dress that i wear all the time is i don't even know where it is is also a dish. This one. Do you know how many times I have almost ordered this in the other colours and then been like, no, that's a bad idea. I actually waited for Black Friday and I was like, oh, I wonder if it is going to be on Black Friday because I was like, if they have a crazy discount. You know how like Reformation do 25% off? I was like, if they have a crazy Black Friday sale like that, then I will order the dress in the other colours because I was like, that's my excuse, it's on sale. But they just did like an edit and that wasn't in it. But this is cute. I need to figure out what trousers I'd wear this with because it hits it well, on me is quite an unflattering point so maybe it'll probably have to be some kind of like linen trouser or something to be honest but i probably want to wear it with a little heel i mean i love it you guys this is curing my winter uglies i'm trying on all the cute clothes i didn't get a chance to wear this summer is this tucked up yes how gorgeous this top and didn't get a chance to wear it what a shame i mean to be fair i got it at the end of the season but i think this is so pretty oh this is so good for me why didn't i do this last week when i was feeling rubbish i'm feeling so much better just from trying cute clothes on now i really want to go somewhere warm <laughs> but it's fine back to jumpers and boots tomorrow at least it's warm enough to wear tights and skirts that's what i keep telling myself if it was too cold to wear skirts and tights right now i would feel so off balance i just i think i love to dress quite feminine and when i have to wear like the chunky knit and the trousers and the layers i just don't feel like myself i feel so much more like myself in a floaty little skirt and something quite dainty like this i genuinely despise wearing clothes like in general and if i could live in a bikini every day for the rest of my life i so would however sadly that is not the reality and i live in england firstly and i live in a city but this is making me very happy i'm going to try one more on which is actually i think it was cos or arquette but 
I think I, I haven't had a chance to wear this one either. I mean, in reality, these probably shouldn't actually be hung up. They should probably be in the bags with my summer clothes, but because I got them at the end of summer, I didn't ever put them away because they were on like my new in rail. And then they got obviously put in the wardrobe and now they're just not away. It goes without saying that I would never wear this with joggers, but how cute is this? I mean, I'd probably need some help with the bow. That's a bit of a pathetic bow, but I just, I saw this. Is it I don't even remember where I saw this. I saw it somewhere online and you know when you go and you buy something immediately. I saw it and I was like, wow, that is gorgeous. Also, I've had so many questions about whether I'm getting a mirror in this room or not. So I had the option to make any of these mirrored and I opted not to. And I do have options of places where I can put them in this room. I have a space here like over my fireplace if I don't do anything with that. I have a space between both the windows. I have on the end here. But because I knew I was going to use this room for filming mainly, I didn't want to put put a mirror in until I knew how I used the room because there's nothing more distracting than filming yourself and then in the background you can just see the back of you and you just <laughs> it's just so distracting so yeah I was like I'm gonna get in I'm going to just see how I go for the foreseeable I obviously have a mirror literally next door in the gym like it's fine but I will one day put one in here I just don't know whereabouts to put it but thankfully I have options I mean if I put one here like I that that would work but then I cover up the fireplace but not too sad about that um but here could be quite nice and maybe even in the in the center of the windows would be really lovely as well because then i have like balanced light but yeah so many of you have been asking and it's not that i didn't plan to have one put in here it's that i yeah didn't know like i didn't know if i was going to end up stand, standing here to talk to you or standing there or i didn't know yeah so i hope that explains it okay right i am going to put my hoodie on get some shoes on and go and take little man out and i'll catch up with you in a couple we're gonna go for a stomp. Good evening, everybody. I firstly would just love to say thank you for all your podcast recommendations the other day. Oh, I chipped my nail, I need to paint that. Oh. Um, but yeah, I went through the comments. I can't remember what I was talking about, but basically I was talking about the fact that I was listening to this podcast and I was like, oh, it would be great if you guys could let me know of any podcasts that you listen to. And so many of you left recommendations and I was actually just flicking through them on my walk and there's quite a few that I'm really excited to listen to. So again, like I want to extend that same question if there's any podcasts that you recommend please do let me know I do prefer listening to podcasters in the US as opposed to in the UK I don't know why I just I seem to be more engaged let me know if any of you are like that I really don't know what it is but I seem to really like them gosh my hair looks like a freaking waterfall but Cody and I got back about 20 minutes ago I've had a lovely shower and now I'm just going to sit with a cup of tea and have some downtime I just really want to sit and catch up on people's vlogmases and I have some of my own editing to do and to be honest i think i just need like an evening to just decompress a little not really been sleeping the best and i'm gonna be up early tomorrow because i want to make sure that the waste disposal goes well and properly i mean i don't have to be available it does say that but i don't want anything to go wrong so i want to make sure i'm awake so i think i'm just gonna take this evening to myself but for now i really hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did a thumbs up goes a long way i'll see you bright and early in the morning very bright and very early uh i'm probably gonna get up at 5 30 because i want to make sure that everything goes okay okay right i'll see you bright and early in the morning good night